The best things to do in Fort William. Fort William is a town in the Scottish Highlands, sitting at the head of Loch Linney and one of the most important town in Scotland south of Inverness, west of Stirling, and north of Glasgow. It forms the natural centre of a very large area and the focus of the road and rail routes across the region. The western highlands of Scotland are all about dramatic scenery. This spectacular landscape was formed by volcanoes and carved by glaciers, creating a giant outdoor adventure playground waiting to be explored. Fort William is a magnet for devotees of the Scottish Highlands and especially for those who love open-air pursuits. Known as the outdoor capital of the UK, Fort William is at the heart of a wide range of exciting activity centres. From sandy beaches and dramatic hills to iconic films locations, castles and distilleries, there are plenty of things to do in Fort William. Take your time and explore the natural wonders of Loch Harbour, breathe the fresh mountain air and marvel at some of the most beautiful beaches in the world. Discover the beautiful Scottish Highlands with the best things to do in Fort William. Climb or photograph Ben Nevis. Ben Nevis is one of the most adventurous things to do in Fort William, not least because of its unpredictable wet and windy weather. At 1,345 metres tall, Ben Nevis is the UK's highest mountain. Ben Nevis's summit is a long way up, about eight hours of climbing there and back to be exact. On a sunny day the views from the summit make it all worthwhile. But even in the middle of summer there's likely to be snow at the top so pack warm layers. Many hikers choose to pitch a tent for the night, so they can enjoy the breathtaking sunset from this top attraction in Fort William. That said, the paths to the top can be quite steep and treacherous, so inexperienced hikers and those traveling with young kids may be better off admiring the reddish granite peaks from below. If you attempt the climb, be well prepared with extra snacks, water, and a change of clothes. It's often wet and slippery. Your reward for a long, steep hike to the top, a breathtaking panoramic view. Mountains and locks of the Scottish Highlands stretch as far as you can see, which is about 150 miles on a clear day. If the fog doesn't roll in to spoil your vista, you can even catch a glimpse of the Irish coast. Climb aboard the Jacobite steam train. Most famous for its role as the Hogwarts Express in the Harry Potter movies, the Jacobite chugs its way along 84 miles of railway between Fort William and Malague. Book a first-class seat for the best, open coach views as you pass Loch Mora, the deepest freshwater lock, and Loch Nevis, the deepest seawater lock. You'll also cross over the stupendous, 21-arched Glenfinnan viaduct, which was made famous as the bridge to Hogwarts in the Harry Potter films. Book a high tea to enjoy as you whip along the tracks, it will make your journey feel even more authentic. If you can tear yourself away from the magnificent vistas, stop by the gift shop for some Harry Potter-themed memorabilia. An important traveler's tip, book a visit between late April and early October to ensure your spot on the train, it doesn't run during the late fall and winter months. Visit the ruins of old Inverlochy Castle. You can't visit Scotland without stopping to see a castle. While some exist as exquisitely preserved buildings that ooze history, others, like the old Inverlochy Castle, survive as mere ruins of their formerly grandiose selves. Don't let that fool you. The ruins of 13th century old Inverlochy Castle sit just outside of the centre of Fort William, along the banks of the River Lochy. It might not look it at first glance but it's one of the best preserved castles of its age in Scotland, and has a few bloody tales to tell. This small stone ruin may be crumbling in many places but wandering around it provides a sense, sometimes an eerie one, of what it might have been like to live in the centre of the first and second battles of Inverlochy. It's worthy of a walk around, at least for an hour, and presents a pretty spot for a picnic. The castle was built by the Cummin family who were the sworn enemies of Robert the Bruce, but they left it behind when Bruce took the Scottish throne. Later it was reoccupied and two fierce battles took place here. The first was in 1431 when 1,000 men were killed and the second in 1645 when another 1,500 died on the battlefield. 
Walk across Neptune's staircase. This incredible example of engineering prowess sits in a small village called Bonavi, four miles north of Fort William. Neptune's staircase is a series of locks that span a quarter mile and raise the canal by 19 meters to allow boats to travel up or down. Built by Thomas Telford in the early 19th century, it remains Britain's longest staircase lock and a fascinating system to watch. If you time it right, you can catch a glimpse of the Jacobite steam train billowing across a nearby bridge. Have your camera at the ready. Even better, you'll be able to watch the locks in motion and marvel as two bridges swing out of the way to allow a passing boat to enter before closing and allowing the lock to fill with water. When the area is devoid of action, and you've tired of walking the endless paths and admiring the view, a hard thing to get bored by. Wander through the nearby shops or grab a bite at a local restaurant. Hike to Steel Falls The walk to Steel Falls from the Glen Nevis car park is majestic. Worries dissipate with the calming sounds of wind, rushing water, and footsteps on the rocky path below. An easy but sometimes slippery trek, the well-worn path to the falls takes you through deep green, moss-covered trees that look as if they could start walking and talking at any moment. Perhaps that's one of the reasons the makers of Harry Potter chose this spot as the setting for an intense Quidditch match. You may hear the falls before seeing them in the heart of the dramatic Nevis Gorge. As you get closer, you'll notice a steel rope bridge hovering precariously over the water below. It's best to wear hiking boots or a good pair of running shoes if you're planning to traverse the wobbly, but strong and sturdy, wires. Your reward? An up-close and personal view of the falls, the second highest in Scotland at over 394 feet.